GM, it's Tuesday the 13th of Feb, and this is your Solana Ecosystem News. Starting with me. I've made a cool meme video all about Tensor. This is part two. Part three will be coming out later today. If you can go and watch this, give me a little bit of engagement. That would be epic. Also, part three, it will have everything. So watch that as well. That will come out later today. This is pretty clever, in my opinion, if I may say so myself. Next up, there's another DJ Nape Harambe auction. So if you have opals, there are 15 of these Way of the Ape Tang suits up for grabs. So the winning bid in opals, the 15 highest, they will win this here. So go and grab your opals and go and bid with these. Just as a reminder, opals are not a SPL token. They're just in whatever wallet that you've been mining your apes or drop bears. Pocket DeFi says, we will change crypto investing forever. I haven't spoken to the team or anything, haven't done any decent research. All I'm suggesting for now is follow them on Twitter and also jump into their Discord. Essentially what they're creating are ETFs or index funds essentially. So you can invest into 10 tokens at once, all in a similar place, and you can also do some copy trading. So unsure exactly how it's gonna work, but I imagine maybe there is someone really good with meme coins and they create like a meme coin ETF. And as opposed to you and everyone else that seems to be commenting on different random meme coins on my videos, maybe you can jump in and buy a basket of top performing meme coins or maybe really early DGM plays, as well as your blue chips. You know, maybe you have a D-pin ETF. So you have some NOS and Render and Honey and Helium and Mobile and whatever other D-pin tokens are out there. Unsure how it's going to play? By the way, Pocket DeFi, you're welcome to ping me so that you can give me more information that I can cover. The Hero Network allows you to earn their token in the form of ES Hero. So the Hero Network confused me at first. Essentially, my understanding is it's basically perps platform that other people can build on top of. So it's the infrastructure. So at the moment, this is how you get this ESHXRO. You trade perps on Guac V2. And at the end of each epoch, you stake your ESHXRO and earn your share of 50% of all network transaction fees in USDC, Bonk, and Guac. No points, just real yields. If you're into perps, give it a go. And this would be the link right here guacamole.gg continue make sure you agree to the terms and then you can go and you can do some trading on this also the hero network has perps on msol and jitosol sharky nft backed loans are a go free to one go farming season one is officially live so you may know that the hark token they're trying to get launched on the lfg jupiter launch pad and i don't have any information about this particular token other than the fact that you know, you can accumulate rewards by using their platform. So all the details are found down here. I don't really do any of this, so I can't give you any more information. But initially, they did have Fishy, which was just a point system, I believe. And now you can convert it to get more sharks. So the token is what they're after. And if you're into this sort of stuff, you can use this. Jupiter has now integrated SPL22 tokens into their routing. So these tokens can be a little bit more difficult because of the fact that quite often they have taxes. So as an example, if you were to buy Fluxbeam, then there will be a tax on it. So you would need to have more slippage, which you may have to change up in the settings here. There are other tokens like this as well, and they basically have that higher tax. So people that sell get penalized, and then a portion goes to the other holders of that token. Travelcare has just announced that they have integrated the Solana blockchain, so you can now book millions of travel services through Solana with this particular website. Now, I haven't checked it out, but this could be definitely helpful for you. So as an example, let's just do a very easy test. I don't remember the exact dates for Breakpoint in, in Singapore, but it's around this. So we'll just go with Singapore and, and have a search. We'll just see quickly how fast it can search. We can find a place, a bed in a dormitory, superior. Goodness gracious, not going to be sleeping in any dormitory. Then you fill out all of your information. Coming on down, you can then pay with crypto. And at this point, you should be able to pay with your Solana. Just a reminder, Drift Protocol is my favorite place to do any perps. I've got a referral link at Seb Monty. I'm not an ambassador or anything like that. I've made tutorials on them. That, that's, that's it. So there's no agreement or anything like that. They, As far as I'm aware, they haven't even like retweeted the tutorials or anything like that. So not trying to be salty or in any way, just trying to be transparent that I use Drift because I think it's the cleanest platform. You can also use Zeta Markets as well. You can also use Jupe as well. 
You can use whatever you like. However, right now, I think there's a reason why Drift Protocol is doing so well, and that's just because it's a nice, clean UI. It's easy. You can work out everything, and they've been working and operating for quite some time. So if you want to trade with BTC or ETH, you have a very small fee, very small, and at the same time, you're getting extra points. Now, I'm not trading any of these pairs. Now, I'm not trading any of these pairs, so it doesn't actually bother me. However, I'm using it regardless. Solana TVL breaks 1.9 billion. Not crazy, crazy news. The price of Solana has gone up, but still very, very good. It'd be great to see when this is like 10 billion, which I think would be maybe six months or so. Chase Barker is doing something that's really hard to do. One lesson released per day until the full 60 days is delivered. So if you want to learn how to become a dev on Solana, that's something I have no skill on. I, I don't know anything and I don't have the time to learn or don't really have the time to teach. But if you want to start here, go and start here. Day one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got more and more and more. So I think this is really, really epic. So well done, sir. Solana FM is another block explorer similar to SoulScam. And they've just been shipping many, many things. So a little bit of a recap if you're after that. But essentially, all you should really do is just go and try it out. Block explorers are still a little bit confusing, but maybe I'll work in the future on getting another tutorial out specifically on Solana FM. In the meantime, you can see all of your information like really, really easily. We can have a look at latest blocks or what's really good to see is the epoch. So remember, staking is done from epoch to epoch. So right now you have eight hours. This video will be edited, so you're not going to have quite eight hours. So my suggestion would be go and stake your soul. Stake your soul daily, in my opinion, not financial advice, but definitely what I do, in my opinion. And stake it with validator.com. And then for eight hours, it will be activating. And at the end of the epoch, start a new one, it will be active, and it will be earning those yields. The true TPS is amazing with Solana at the moment, and we can see the soul price nice and live. Then you can just come and click here and just add a transaction ID or maybe an address and see everything that's happened with this. Aurori and their Seekers of Tokan game is now live for everyone on Epic Games. So if you're into gaming, you may want to check out this game. They've been building it for years and they've gone through a lot of difficulty. They've had their Discord breached a few times. Uh, in my opinion, that should never happen more than once. Ideally, never. But just I'm just pointing that out in case you're building something. Make sure you've got really decent security. And if you have no idea what you're doing, then hire someone that knows what they're doing. Then, like a lot of people, they were rugged by FTX. On top of that, they also had a hack on the Arbitrum chain where they had more of their tokens. So a lot of things have gone wrong, but they've built something. This is the thing. They've built a game when everyone else just dreams of building a game. So I definitely think this is worth checking out if you like playing games and if you want to play games. I will be covering some gaming, but gaming like this is probably a little bit too time intensive for me at the moment. Solana Mobile has 100,000 pre-orders. I have my link below. You can click on that and pre-order one yourself. Help me out. Remember, these will not ship until next year, mid next year, 450 USDC. I have a thesis and it's only a thesis, but around 93,000 wallets were airdropped this particular NFT. And this NFT was for all those that actually pre-ordered this phone. Now with that NFT, I think people will include that in future snapshots which will get meme coins or maybe some bonk, part of the next bulk miss or something like that. So that's one of the value points I see in actually pre-ordering. The other thing is you're helping out the Solana ecosystem by getting more people in that can deliver a functional product, which can potentially put more eyes on Solana for Web2 users. Then next year, of course, you get a phone, which should be very good itself. And in the meantime, you have the thesis of airdrop value. But the most important thing is now that we've hit this milestone, the founder window and pre-order price of $450 will close in 48 hours. Your chance to join is now. I have no idea what this will go up to and who cares, even if they just cancel it. This is the time to go and grab some of these phones. Just another reminder, time is running out for the early APY bonuses. Have you staked your Kiwi? So at the moment you can see 30, 60, 90. It's 100, I think 125, and then 200%, something along those lines. However, that Kiwi gets locked up for 90 days, and it's not going to return that APY for 90 days. It will decrease in about a day or so. So you're only getting the extra yield now. So really, if you're going to be staking your Kiwi, it's just if you're really long-term bullish on the heist, and I am. I have no idea what the prices are going to do. 
There's no expectation that it's going to go up or whatever, but I am staking some Kiwi myself. Entirely up to you. Jupiter Exchange has rolled out Jupiter Working Groups. The first working group has been led by these four individuals here. Cryptic, Slog, Dirt and Wannabe, and Kimosabe. Now I have no idea how you can get involved. I'll find out, but I imagine if you're keen on getting involved, you'll probably be in the Jupiter Discord and will already have that information. But for the average person, I'll find out. Either way, I think the DAO is initially in good hands as the first working group, and then we'll see how many people actually become part of the DAO, or more importantly, are leaders of the DAO. Finally, to end everything, Pith is up a crazy amount. It's essentially at all-time highs. So stake your Pith. That's my opinion, not financial advice. We'll go over three months. It rallied up pretty high early on, came on down, and from now until here, it's been a double. So in another video, I'm going to do a follow-up on how all of my farming went with Pith and Soul and whatnot, because I haven't followed up on that. So I'll do a, a video probably today on that and maybe release it tomorrow. But Pith is doing very, very well, staking it and just voting on proposals. That's my kind of goal. Now, if we look at the general crypto markets, everything is actually doing really, really well. Bitcoin hit 50K, ETH is doing its thing, Solana is doing its thing and whatnot. Uh, Bonk also did a bit of a bit of a crazy up. Bonk Earns doing well. Bonk Earn, this is a token uh, SPL22 token. It's uh, still significantly down from its all-time high, but it's still definitely growing. It's, it came on down, and then it's come up again. Also, Wales. Wales market goes up and down, but overall, this is very much up. I bought quite a bit, actually, like $1,000 around the high, and I'm completely fine with this. The reason being, they have active buybacks and the Wales market. You can watch my videos on that. It's doing really, really well in terms of just getting more users. So I was expecting maybe a little bit of a drop off initially, just due to the fact that this was after dupe. So there's a lot of revenue being generated and 60% is used to buy back the token for various reasons. And so obviously the buybacks would have decreased, um, but we still have you know more and more airdrops, more and more points. And all these things are starting now as well. So I don't have a price target at the moment, but I probably wouldn't sell any until it goes twice as high. That's all for today. We'll catch you in the next video.